So I've just arrived at Heathrow, um, just checked in, all sorted on that front. into the big man after Bish posted the video on Instagram yesterday of me sitting next to him I hope to God we're not sitting next to each other but um, yeah I mean sit next to the biggest man on the planet I'd rather not but um, no it'd be um, I think we've got a nine hour flight to Seattle then a two hour low over and then we're off to Sacramento from there and um, yeah all checked in all ready to go and really looking forward to the show Good it is. How's it going, mate? It's calm, isn't it? I actually think I miss COVID. There's yeah. just too many people. Have you eaten? Yeah, I just grabbed a couple of sandwiches. Fuck's sake. What are you having? Don't know. I don't I won't tell Simon. I'm day off today, mate. Oh yeah? Yeah, I plan my day off for travelling. How sad is that? I think you picked a bad day for that, mate. Most of the stuff's like rammed. I went to like try and get some tables on mate. Nah. You what, crazy. What are you eating, Gav? Anything yeah. Any snacks in that bomb bag of yours? <laughs> Some skittles in there? <laughs> I, might just, I, I might just do a WH, a WH Smith's or a boot sandwich or something. That's what I love, mate. Yeah. Yeah. A manger. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's fucking busy here. Nightmare. Okay, so I bought a load of food for the um, flight. It's obviously, you know, plain food and all that. And um, I've eaten it all already, so I just had to buy a load more. Um, luckily, there was a jug at W.H. Smith's right by the gate, so I managed to grab a couple of sandwiches, a few protein bars and stuff like that as snacks for the plane. But, um, yeah, if anyone's wondering about my diet, I'm um, off plan today. I saved my, um, my day off my diet because I only do six days a week at the moment. Saved it for flying. Um, it's quite sad, really. You know, how did you spend your, your day off, off, off your diet, um, travelling and eating crappy plain food, so, but, you know, needs must, and um, I'm all sorted while I'm out there. Luckily, um, a lot of strongest man people have managed to sort all my food and stuff while I'm there, so, um, very lucky that they've done that for me, so I can stay on track while I'm away, and, um, yeah, me and Big Gav are just waiting to board. Um, yeah, and um, I, think, I think Kelvin DeRoy is on the same flight as us as well. Um, Holland's strongest man, I'm not sure, but he was on the list. So, yeah, um, flight to Seattle, it's like nine, nine hours or so, and then um, flying to Sacramento from there. So, hopefully, it'll be a, a decent flight. Luckily, we've got premium economy, so got a bit more room than normal. And um, yeah, just. Um, Hopefully I can sleep most of it and get it done quickly, but yeah, looking forward to getting getting there, but obviously the travelling is the, 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 the rough bit of it, but nearly there, we're on our way, so that's the main thing. in Seattle, um, first flight done, a little bit tired, got some sleep on the flight though, food was decent, um, the stewardesses looked after us pretty well as well, gave us plenty of extra wool and stuff so that was good, um, yeah we just got clear passport control, a little bit of time and then we're straight on to Sacramento after that so hopefully this bit's not too painful, last year it was a bit of a pain in the bum with um, Covid and stuff and checking all your paperwork and that but 
hopefully we won't have the same issue this year, but um, fingers crossed. I know when I went to Shaw Classic, Bish and Hicksy both missed their flight. Um, we had about two hours, so hopefully we don't have the same problem here. We've got Big Gab here. Luckily we weren't sitting next to each other. Well, we were, but you know, uh, we had an aisle in between us, so we weren't too bad. But feeling good, mate? Yeah, feeling good. Um, first fight wasn't too bad, was it? No, no, it was all right. So this is not too painful, now. I mean, I, I don't know how, pay, how bad flights must be for Gav because he's the biggest human being in the world. But um, yeah, we got premium economy, so it's nice. But yeah, we're all there, so we just gotta make our way through and then get through down to Sacramento. Made it to Sacramento, so as long as the bags turn up. We're all good, we'll be on our way to the airport in no time at all. Airport, hotel even. Yeah, we made it and all good. And um, wasn't too painful a journey. Okay, so I've arrived in the hotel. I've got two beds. So I can choose each night. Um, yeah, just got here, I think 16 hours door to door. So it's been a bit of a long, long journey, but all good though, um, wasn't too too painful to be fair. Just gonna get my shit together, um, get a bit organized with my bags and my luggage and stuff. Gonna go and find a supermarket and get a few bits and bobs. Um, I need to get some carb sauces and some breakfast um, because I don't wanna be eating the crap that they'll put on every day. Gotta try and stay on plan. Um, so yeah, I wanna get some cereal for the mornings. Then, um, I'm not gonna get any cream of rice because I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it in the supermarket, but I'm gonna get some rice flour, which is basically the same thing, and then get some flavoring to put in it. So I can keep on top of my carbs. Got my weighing scales with me and um, buy some protein while I'm there as well. So I can stay on track while I'm here. Um, and obviously World Strongest Man have provided some of the other meals. So all good so i'm just going to get organized get down to the supermarket get my shit together and then um i'll drop back with you in the morning um i've got tomorrow we're doing the the live reveal with a group so me Loz, liz doing a live reveal on youtube um you'll have already seen it by the time you see this um so we're revealing the groups and the athletes find out at the exact same time as well so that's going to be exciting um kind of reminds me of the football a little bit where they're drawing the cup drawers and things like that so should be good looking forward to that and um yeah it should be fun obviously doing it with Loz and Liz good people and yeah we can always have a good bit of good bit of chat about strongman and stuff as well so really looking forward to it and um might try and get an arm session in tonight if I can so maybe I'll pop some of that in the video um just do a little bit of the hotel because I don't want to get behind so uh, because it's an arm workout, it's nothing too major, so I'll probably be able to get that done tonight. It's a supermarket, arm workout, then an early night, I think. So, as you can see, the hotel gym is not up to much. Dumbbells, bench, bit of cardio equipment, a leg extension, hamstring curl, and a shoulder press, and that's pretty much it. So, not the best, but, I'm just going to get some quick arm stuff done using the dumbbells and um, yeah that'll be me. Creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit, so sharp, so freezing So cold, behold, frostbite, they feel I could tear you apart or I could go heal them, don't believe Well obviously that weren't ideal but keeps me on track with my days um, So it's the arm session done, nothing crazy obviously Limited to what I have but still got some stuff done Obviously I'm feeling a bit jet lagged and stuff as well so 
Yeah, not ideal, but at the end of the day, that keeps me on track with all my days, so they're all still in sequence. I'm not missing any, and I've got a busy day tomorrow with doing the athlete reveal, so I just um, wanted to stay on track and get it in while I could, because I don't want to be falling behind on my first day, so yeah. Got it done, decent enough session, got a good pump, so I'm out. Working for tips. Working for tips. Hello. Dave. Another referee. Martins. Luke. Big Brian. Nobikov. How's it going, mate? Holy shit. You good? You are ripped. Ah. Good. It's nice seeing Martins, he's such a nice guy. I can't sleep and um, I've been up since 3 in the morning. So I've brought myself down to the jacuzzi, sitting here for a little while. It's um, quarter to 5 in the morning. I've just had a protein shake um, with some oats in, just because I was absolutely starving. That wasn't helping my sleeping matters. Um, and I've just come to chill in the jacuzzi for a little bit. I've got a meeting at 7, then some breakfast, then the athlete meetings at 8. Um, where I go through all the rules and stuff like that and then um, I go live at 10 o'clock so a little bit nerve-wracking but yeah gonna go live announce all the groups go through all that explain um, who's in what group and everything else I've had a little sneak peek already and I've got to say there is gonna be some absolute wars in the heat so I am buzzing for it it's, um, very, very exciting. There's some really, really, really good battles in the heat. Um, just looking through the lineup, the guys are absolutely incredible. And um, yeah, it's going to be amazing. I really can't wait. I mean, the fact that um, even the heats are like a final these days, everyone's so good. And um, yeah, as soon as just looking through it, I was getting excited thinking about it. So I think it's going to be a fantastic show. And yeah, I can't wait to get started with everything straight in at the deep end um, with the, the live stream announcing the groups and um, let's just hope I don't cock it up too badly. It's like watching the gorillas feed at the zoo. Bill and Kim, Mitchell Hooper, Kelvin, well, everyone's in here, Biff, Shane, Rob Kearney, and Big Andy Black, Luke Stoltman, who else we got in here? Trey Mitchell over there, Bobby Thompson, Neb Nebzim, Constantine Ivers. Yeah, we got quite a few of the boys in here this morning, all having their breakfast. Yeah, it's not, not the best menu to show you what the guys have got. Some sort of tortilla wraps. It's a bit Mexican. And there's hash browns, eggs, sausages, bacon. There was loads of brownies, but they've all gone. Cereal and bagels and stuff over there. So yeah, that's pretty much what the guys were eating. Eggs, sausages, bacon, hash browns. Yeah, some wraps. Stuff like that, so... Yeah, I bought my own breakfast, just so I could stay on track, but I did have a bagel with jam in it, so... Yeah. Um, Got the athlete meeting soon. I don't know what I'm allowed to film. I don't think I'm allowed to film it. I think it's all very private and secret this year, so I won't be doing that. But um, yeah, athlete meeting. Then I've got my own meeting just to discuss the live stream thing and um, talk about the group reveal. And then we're group reveal at 10, and then I'm clear for the day, so I think. So yeah, it should be a pretty chill day. Go and get a decent training session in. got the, the live of group reveal done um, yeah I mean Jesus Christ the groups are tough like unbelievably tough so yeah it was exciting I really enjoyed doing it actually Loz and Liz were great as well so um, yeah it was fantastic obviously to you know have that sort of bounce off they're both obviously very knowledgeable about strongman so 
having them to bounce off was fantastic. And um, yeah, we've had many a chat over the years, me and Loz, about strong man and stuff. So um, we've got that sort of rapport. So yeah, it was great. And um, I'm now gonna go back to my room, change my stuff, get some drinks, and then um, head down to the pool a bit for a bit, I think. Go and get my tan on a little bit. So we've got the stones. What are these for? Stone over the bar. Stone over the bar. So yeah. we got rid of the wood this year. Yeah. yeah. Steve Slater here. Makes the best stones and logs on the planet. So we've got the Knack toolboxes. They're going to be loading something a bit smaller than that, but yeah. Um, what have we got here? I assume they're for the fin Flintstone lift. The behind the neck jerk. The wrecking ball lift. I'm hoping to have a go at this when I come down here. I'm doing a thing with uh, the um, what world's strongest man live. I'm going to come down here with Colin and he's going to show me through all the equipment. So I'm hoping to have a go at that when we do that. Um, here we go, yeah, the Flintstone lift. Going back to the old school. It's, um, yeah, looking pretty cool. Yeah, nice new bar there. Look, look wicked, don't they? Look at that. They're like proper stone. How cool do they look? The yokes. First glimpse of them. So they're the knack toolboxes. The frame. Hell of a bit of equipment that is. Anvils. That's what they're loading the toolboxes there. They'll be loaded with some weight. Kegs, obviously, the platforms. Stone platforms over there. In the heats, we've got the car walk. So that's what the guys will be running with. I think they're doing about 500 kilos, so it's gonna to be tough, that. Um, yeah, we've got the, all the stone platforms over there. And I think that's about all the equipment they've got out at the moment, but, oh, the power stairs. So there's not the implements there, but that's the stairs, three stairs. They're quite high, higher than I was expecting, actually. See if I can get you a bit of perspective. Bearing in mind my feet are 13 inches long. Give you a little bit of perspective there. Yeah, so my feet are just over a foot, so like 13 inches long, so yeah, they're quite high. Shorter guys will moan about that for sure. So, yeah, it's all looking good. And, um, yeah, some nice bits of kit. Got Lynn here working on some equipment. Lynn runs the official Strongman Games, so if you want to get involved, this is the man behind the, behind the show. <laughs> But, um, fantastic show. If you've never been or never been involved in it, official Strongman Games, absolutely amazing. Lynn does a fantastic job of it. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, so here we go. There's some of the behind the scenes stuff. And then we've got Daz, Dave Warner and Pa. Pa's not supposed to be in here, but we'll just pretend that he wasn't. He's had his hair plugs done as well, or tattooed or something, but yeah. I took the piss a little bit earlier, but didn't get it on camera, obviously. But yeah, that's a, a view of the yard. Look at that, that's a bit of one, not it? Yeah, Shane. Good old Brycey. <laughs> Brycey yeah. Yeah. Head referee. Devil to some people. <laughs> Head referee, not, not anymore. No? Oh, athlete, no, what was Tournament it? Tournament director. Tournament director. What was it you wanted to be called? Commissioner of Power, wasn't it? Commissioner of Power was like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what... Uh, Big Gav. Yeah, was it Terry Todd? Terry Todd was Commissioner of Power. Yeah. I always go to call him Todd Terry. He was a DJ, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Big Dave Warner is actually the referee. First year out here, I think. He's refereed Europe's strongest man loads of times, but... Yep, he's um, refereeing with Magnus this year, so that's good. Competed in Malta as well. Competed in Malta, yeah. What year was that? 20 years ago. 20 years ago. There you go. Dave was a great strong man in his day, to be fair. Could have been a lot better than um, what he actually achieved, just because he got work and stuff like that, commitments. But amazing strong man, really was good. Jerry Pritchett. Kelvin DeRoyer. We've got that par. 
yeah, you can tell by his bald head. Tom, Luke, Bish, yeah, all the boys are around, chilling in the pool. This is basically what everyone does. <laughs> get sunburned. Yeah, get, get sunburned before they're about to compete, yeah, yeah. But especially, especially the Brits. That's what, that's what we do, isn't it? When we go away on holiday, just get sunburned. Get pissed yeah. sunburned. We do it very well. Yeah, but yeah, Jerry Pritchett's son over there, Bub up. Was he 12? 10 years old. 10 years old. 10 years old. 11 years old. 11 years old. 5 foot 8 and 200 pounds. How much does he deadlift? It's crazy. Yeah, it's mental. So strong, but yeah, he's a um, budding strong man. But yeah, all the boys are here anyway relaxing before it all starts tomorrow medicals and interviews and everything else so yeah should be good fun i'm going to hit the gym in a little bit lead these boys to their relaxing <laughs> what you want to swap <laughs> you're welcome mate <laughs> big maggie hello and we got the kid in the back yeah the kid in the back <laughs> so the little one in the back we there yet we there yet yeah. we there yet we there yet it's pricey not coming we there yet <laughs> He's still got a sort of dummy. <laughs> <laughs> I won't even say that. He's yeah. first coming to the gym. Yeah. So he came out and said, oh, I'll come down with you in Sadler. I was like, I'll see you. I he bet you sleep. he doesn't make it once by the end of the trip. No, he never does. Every time we're away, I'll say, you're going to get him on the train this time. Now, I'm going to waste my fucking phone call. There we go, Crunch Fitness. I don't know where, what it's going to be like, but... All these boys have been there before and said it's all right, so we'll give it a go. I think it's just like a normal sort of health club, but got some machines. I'll make it work anyway. session nice pump um, all the boys done different stuff some of them some of them did back some of them did a bit of shoulders and chest I did shoulders and chest so yeah all done now anyway and um, yeah I just got to try and figure out how to get out of the gym there's like a cage around it but yeah all done good session and um, get home and get some rest now so um, day is over I am um, I just went out and had some food with Bish. I didn't get any video of it because, you know, a bit weird like us having a romantic meal out together. But yeah, we both went, We obviously we both went, we went to Outback Steakhouse. Both had a steak, I had a fillet, he had a ribeye steak. It was decent, good bit of food. Um, absolutely jet lag to hell. Um, I've been up since yeah, like three o'clock this morning. It's now getting on a bit, 10 o'clock, so. Hopefully I should sleep well tonight and um, got a big day tomorrow so it's all testing in the yard. So I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. Obviously there's a bit of stuff in there, some, some of my training, 
the travel, a little bit of the guys behind the scenes, nothing too major. But tomorrow I'm going to be getting some footage from down in the yard of them testing the equipment, try and grab some interviews as well. So the next vlog is going to be a lot of that sort of content. So hopefully they should start to liven up a little bit now. And um, yeah, I'll catch up with you soon.